Developments in attack come as the State Department warns Americans not to travel to Ukraine. Let's bring in former senior CIA field operative and ABC News contributor Daryl Blocker. Daryl, good to see you. So there is more pressure to punish Russian President Vladimir Putin. As the Kremlin continues its invasion, what more can the U.S. do without stepping foot on the battlefield? Well, we can continue to keep the, uh, the coalition standing up against Russia intact. As time moves on, of course, people's uh, interests will start to wane, but the collective government and corporate America response has been, has been fantastic. It's in the best interest of President Zelensky and the Ukrainians to continue to sell this as an international response to the Russian invasion. So those type of things that are, might not always be reported on or might not always be um, at the front, forefront of, of ending this are continuing diplomatically, politically, economically. And Daryl, Russia launched its latest attack on Kyiv while the UN Secretary General was visiting. Should the U.S. be looking at this incident as a direct threat and warning? Oh, absolutely. There's, there's, no, there's no doubt that the, the UN Secretary General, I believe, met with Putin in the last couple of days, and they knew he was coming, and this is a message sent out to the UN, sent out to the West, and particularly sent out to the Biden administration. And speaking of the Biden administration, is targeting Russian oligarchs looking to use proceeds from their seized assets to aid Ukraine. Are there any risks associated with this kind of strategy here? I'm not sure about the risk, but when they were trying to sell the Iraq war, they said it was going to pay for itself. So I'm not certain that the oligarchs are going to have enough uh, airplanes and yachts and, and money to actually put a dent into the billions and billions of dollars that, uh, that the United States alone has put into this. And I also don't think it's going to be uh, something that Putin is going to be that concerned about, other than the fact that he's fearful that those Russian oligarchs do have power, do have their own uh, backing, so to speak. And if they turn against him, his days will certainly be numbered. Yeah, when we look at the impact, especially when you consider the billions of dollars still pouring into Russia from fossil fuels uh, and other, um, you know, streams of revenue there. Um, on another issue, the family of Willie Joseph Cancel, an American volunteer and former Marine, tells ABC News he died fighting alongside Ukrainian troops. So the official U.S. stance is one of no boots on the ground, as you know, Daryl. And yet here we are reporting on an American casualty in the war. How do we navigate this gray line here? Uh, American boots have been on the ground since right after the invasion of Crimea and Donbass in 2014. Not a lot of numbers and certainly different profile than the folks today. Uh, the folks in the past were more white ultra-nationalist and the folks that are volunteering now come from every stripe and every background. My, my heart goes out to the Cancel family. Um, there's nothing the United States can do to stop citizens from traveling as long as they're not hired as mercenaries within the U.S. borders. Uh, Americans can, can be told not to do something, but as a former consular officer, we know that Americans don't always listen to what the government is saying uh, in terms of not going into a place or not. And again, the wife of Willie Joseph Cancel calling him a hero, saying he went there to help the Ukrainians. All right, Daryl Blocker, thank you for your time, your expertise, appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.